Section 23R2, we simplified the process of accepting credit cards, direct ACH payments, and other payment options directly in Acumatica. Acumatica Payments is a turnkey solution that manages the complexity of connecting to the banking network. Acumatica manages daily payments and settlements, which were approved and captured, and deposits the money directly into your bank account, along with reports which describe processing fees. The integration is built and maintained by the Acumatica development team. All features are tested and delivered when you install Acumatica. Customers can always be on the most current release because the solution is tested and maintained as part of the Acumatica release cycle. Acumatica Payments is a complete solution which includes virtual and physical gift cards, loyalty programs, click-to-pay options, mobile payments in the Acumatica app, and portal payments. The solution is PCI compliant. All credit cards are entered directly into the banking network and stored in Acumatica using a secure token. After obtaining a merchant account, I set up Acumatica Payments as a processing center and linked to the appropriate payment methods. Within the system, I can set default options on preferences screen and associate default options on class screens. Following the simple setup, I can start collecting money. In my first scenario, assume I have a customer with a monthly recurring invoice. The customer authorizes me to keep his banking information on file so I can withdraw money on the last day of each financial period. After creating a payment schedule, the system will automatically create invoices of the desired payment on file. The Generate Recurring Transaction screen automatically runs the schedule. The Generate Payment screen automatically creates the payment, and the Capture Payment screen automatically applies the payment. The payment is linked to the invoice, and the invoice is closed. The process is completely automated, so customers receive their invoice in advance of the ACH debit. In the second scenario, I have a customer enrolled in click to pay This customer doesn't want to leave a credit card on file, but wants the convenience of online payments. When the customer places an order, I can send a payment link from the sales order or the invoice, depending on whether I want to collect money before or after shipping the order. In this case, I create a prepayment link on the sales order. The payment link can automatically be attached to an email or sent as a QR code or link on the paper invoice. When my customers follow the link, they are directed to a page that allows them to see and pay other open invoices. If I allow it, they can also make partial payments. After entering my credit card details, the order is processed and a receipt is automatically emailed. Just like the ACH payment, the credit card payment creates a payment record which is automatically linked to my sales order. Use the Acumatica app on your mobile phone to collect payments while out of the office. Initiate payments from the sales orders or field service appointment screens. Process existing cards on file or accept new cards without third-party products. Utilize Acumatica payments in retail settings by purchasing a variety of popular card and chip readers. Gift cards allow retailers to use physical or virtual cards with a balance that can only be used at their particular store. This is useful for holiday gift giving, store refunds and credits, and it's a good promotional tool to get customers into your store. To use Acumatica gift cards, you follow the simple process you see outlined here. After setting up gift card processing, I create a purchase order and receive my gift cards. On the purchase receipt, I receive the gift card numbers that I get from the banking network. These cards are not yet activated. When a customer wants to purchase a digital card, I enter the sales invoice and add a gift card. Using the line details, the system assigns a card number from the bank numbers I received. I set the value based on what the customer wants. In this example, my customer uses a credit card to pay for the gift card. So I update the payment information using Acumatica Payments along with a credit card on file. After receiving the payment, I activate the gift card and the purchase amount is automatically loaded. I email a receipt with the digital card number to my customer. The PIN is not visible until after I open the email. In this example, my customer gave the card to a friend who was purchasing an item to my store. I enter the order and create a payment. When I create the payment, the system prompts me to add my gift card number and the PIN. Acumatica Payments authorizes the card for the amount of the purchase and approves my order. Predefined gift card inquiries allow me to check card balances, see transaction history, and review open liabilities. Acumatica manages several payment scenarios. Businesses can charge recurring fees of varying amounts, 
accept pre-authorized and prepaid orders from commerce sites, accept orders for out-of-stock items, and many other scenarios, including less common options not shown here.